The muscle of the day is the supraspinatus. Lose it and your shoulder gets loud, unstable, and painful. It derives its name supraspinatus because it lies above the spine of the scapula. Its origin is the supraspinous fossa of the scapula above the scapular spine, and it inserts on the superior facet of the greater tubercle of the humerus. It nestles into a groove above your scapular spine and slides under the acromion to attach to your humerus. The main actions of this muscle are initiating shoulder abduction, the first 15 degrees of movement. It helps to compress and stabilize the head of the humerus securely into the glenoid socket. It is the most commonly injured rotator cuff muscle, especially for those who perform overhead sports. It works as a dynamic stabilizer, especially during carrying and lifting tasks. It runs under a tight space between the head of the humerus and the acromion, making it prone to impingement. It's most powerful in the first 15 degrees of shoulder abduction or a lateral raise type movement. It's very important in everyday tasks like raising our arm, brushing our hair, brushing our teeth, putting on clothing. It helps us to hold the groceries out by our sides and even to hold children and other things like that. The supraspinatus is important in everyday activities and in powerful movement patterns, which is why it's so commonly injured. It's like a spark plug for shoulder movement. Lose it and the rest of your arm can't really even get started.